welcome friends uh, here we'll be talking about uh, evolution today and on the subsequent video lectures also we'll be talking about different aspects of evolution and natural selection <coughs> we'll be looking at the examples of evolution and also we'll be talking about the type of natural selection and then uh, we'll be talking about speciation and how new species are formed from an existing species okay now in this first video of evolution series I'm going to talk about the basics of evolution or very very basic point of evolution now evolution is a subject that we cannot teach you in one or two videos or something like that because it's a very vast topic there are several different aspects now this is a topic of serious debate but here what we will be talking uh, just looking at our Darwinian view of evolution We'll be discussing uh, uh, the fundamental points of it and we'll be uh, learning it with examples. Okay, now in this video we'll be talking about the introduction of evolution. So it's about evolution. Now in this video we'll be just talking about the introductory part. Now evolution, let me tell you, evolution is, uh, as I look into evolution, I look it in this way that evolution is a systemic process. It is a process which is happening in step-by-step -step manner. It's a process happening in step-by-step -step manner to select an organism from a mass of organisms. Select an organism which is superior than others from a mass of organisms. So what we mean, say we are having. So let me explain you uh, with a, a basic example. The example of giraffes. Okay, and then we'll we'll connect this thought with a modern age uh, analogy to help you understand evolution. Because I found many students, especially the students of class 11 and 12, they don't have the proper understanding of evolution. Evolution in this way, let me tell you. Now, say <coughs> if I take the example of giraffe, then what we can draw that uh, in a population. So what I what I've told you are the points. The points are say here. Uh, it's a process, step by step process, right? So it's a step by step process of selecting the superior individual from a mass of population and allow them allow these superior individuals so allow them to reproduce this in a sense is evolution in small nutshell so it's a step by step process selection of superior individuals and third is allowing them to reproduce and we'll be looking at our example and we'll be uh, looking that these criteria are fulfilled then we can say that evolution is happening okay so first let's talk about the example of giraffes okay so let in this picture I'm drawing the giraffes of cartoonic representation so say in a population of giraffe remember we are having a um, uh, selection of superior individuals from a mass of population so evolution never happens simply when a population is made up with one or two for evolution to happen the population must be large enough right and we know that populations are made up with species different species they come closer to make the populations right now this populations now say population of giraffe so in in a place in a particular continent there is a particular population of giraffes now some of the giraffes are having longer taller head some taller neck and some of them are having shorter neck so say here the giraffes I'm drawing I'm drawing in simply like this so these giraffes are short neck giraffe and say let me draw a more short neck giraffe like this like this these are short neck giraffes and let me also draw some long neck giraffes these are long neck the red colored giraffes are long neck giraffes as you can see here okay so it's a pictorial representation uh, of giraffes so these red colors are having the larger long neck this blue colored are having shorter neck 
Now what happens here inside the population we are having both mix, mixture of this say uh, say there are more short neck giraffe or say another variation say intermediate neck intermediate necks are this this these are intermediate necks okay short neck so say in a population we are having all of them we are having a mixture of different variety of giraffes some of them are having long, longer necks some of them are having intermediate necks these are designated by this dagger like sign and some of them are having short neck okay now what happens here when environment turn its course so remember selection of superior individuals now who select this now if i question this process who select this the answer would be if i question who select this the answer is nature so nature selects everything in evolution in natural evolution okay that we are studying nature selects everything so if if the environment surrounding these giraffes start to change for example how in this case say the giraffes are eating plants leaves right so leaves from uh, plants now there are many type different variety of uh, plants also there are shrubs and there are also taller trees now the giraffes which are having shorter neck so let me draw the trees here for example say uh, so let me draw the trees with with this blue color say so these are shrub like trees short trees in the population okay many many short trees and also we are having large longer trees okay okay say so so these giraffes will feed on to the trees now we are having short trees shrub like trees and also larger trees now the giraffes which are having short neck which are having short neck cannot eat on to the larger tree but they can eat on to the smaller trees shrub like trees now as they are having short neck and they are having food so why they will try to eat them so they will try to eat the food they are that is available to them which are the shrub like trees so they will feed on to the shrub like trees Uh, or leaves of the shrub like trees okay now they will start eating them and as all of the population as we can see inside this whole population the number of short necked giraffe is more so it is made up it is the majority of the population they will feed on to this short shrub like trees and sooner as there are a lot of giraffes are eating these short trees the trees are gone after some time the trees will all the trees they'll take up the uh, uh, trees they take up the leaf of the trees as a result of that all most of the trees will start to die because they will eat those trees right so these trees are going down so after some time so when the trees are gone say most of this short trees are gone then what what start to happen but the population remains the same because they are uh, producing offspring so the population remains the same but now due to the feeding on to the smaller trees the population of smaller trees getting decreased so now they will have a competition right because the, there is less food now but more feeder so less food more feeder so there will be a competition between themselves so due to this competition what will happen they will fight with each other to take this food so during this fight few of this uh, giraffes will start to die so this is a very important point we have seen we have get rise to a competition competition for for here it's for food but this competition could be also for space it could be also for space okay in wild so what happens they'll start to fight and but still they're eating onto these shrubs because shrubs are little bit of food left but then these shrubs are also start to go and there at a, a time will come when there will be no small trees left only the large trees left because they feed on to the small trees vigorously so now most of the small trees are gone only these trees are left okay in previous cases that those uh, this all of these individuals which are having short necks eat on to the small trees the larger individuals are also present at those time there are very few in the population 
but they can eat from the large trees. So they will eat from the large trees, but if they require, they can also eat for the small trees. They don't have any problem. The intermediate head giraffes also feed on to the small shrub trees. They also don't feed on to the long trees. So what will happen when all the shrubs are gone? Then two of two type of giraffe species from the population will encounter a problem. What are them? One is a short neck. Another one is the intermediate neck because they rely for food onto these shrub like trees. Now as the trees are gone, they will encounter a problem. So what will happen? They so they will die, right? So as their foods are gone, this middle neck giraffe and also the small neck giraffe will die. So who will live? The only the long neck containing giraffes will be selected. Only the long neck containing giraffe will be there in the population after the small trees are gone. So what will happen now? So these these uh, short uh, giraffes are dead. Intermediate head also dead. So only we are having only one type of giraffes left in the population. Now these long giraffes, long neck giraffes, they start to eat. Why and why these long giraffes will survive? Because they can eat from the long trees or the larger trees, right? So that's why they can survive. So from this population, when nature come to a course and the competition between food, so we can have the different types of competition like here, we can find that it can be food, it can be space. So this competition here, it is food and this food restrict some of the generation of giraffes to die and only it selects some of the generation or some of the type, some of the uh, type of giraffes will left and they can feed onto the trees and then the trees will start to go but that's a different thing but larger trees are there because there are most of the population who feed onto the smaller trees so larger trees are still left so these giraffes will start to survive and as they start to survive in previous conditions they are having a very few amount in the population but now as they start to survive they are going to reproduce more and more here comes a very important concept of allow them to reproduce. The second concept, allowing them to reproduce, this is the, the sorry, third concept, right? So they will reproduce more now. Previous times the reproduction was less for the long neck giraffe, but now as they are the only one, they will reproduce more and more. And as they reproduce more and more, they will generate more and more long neck giraffe in the population. So sooner the whole population are going to produce a long neck giraffe. So after all, when the end, what we can see, all the population is long neck giraffe. Okay. So all the population is no long neck now after this selection. Okay. That is what we called uh, evolution. Then we can say the giraffes are evoluted, are evolved, not evoluted. The giraffes are evolved to produce, to have a larger and longer neck. Okay. Now, in previous times, there are different views on evolution. There was Lamarck who gave a view that he suggested that the small neck giraffe, they try to catch the food from the larger trees and startingly their, their head and their head start to grow longer and longer and taller produce this long neck zero but that's not the case remember there is the concept of evolution it suggests whatever variety we are looking at the variety must be present in the population maybe the variety is present in very few amount very little percentage but that variety was present now what evolution does what natural selection does it selects that particular variety over another varieties over all the other varieties and they will select that variety and help the variety to grow and reproduce successfully to generate a population with that particular variety and this we call it evolution okay now if i give you a simple example simple analogy of of modern times what you can say that say we are having mobile phones so Mobile phones of different type. Okay, so we are uh, in the previous time we are having the mobile phones. Just uh, the phone feature is only the phoning feature. So there is no other features. Just phone. Then uh, start in, at that time we are having mobile phones which are having some camera features like that. So mobile phones in the previous time, some of them, most of them are simple mobile phones. Some of them uh, had uh, the camera features. Some of them are had had uh, the uh, 
memory card feature and all this now as the time is going on what we have that people will start to notice that mobile phone is not only meant for calling and receiving the call but also if we can modify the phone it could be a pocket camera it could be a pocket calculator and it could be a pocket torch and all these things so people will start to love those phones which are having multiple features so multi featured mobile phones that were in the least amount in the previous time are getting selected by people and people want them more so now at at present in the market we get most of the mobile phones which are having the multiple features and only those phones which are having only the calling features are getting getting lost from the population of mobile phones simple as that here at the previous times though this long neck giraffes were very few but as a result of the selection as a result of the driving pressure of food all the short tailed and mid uh, short necked and the moderate neck giraffe will go and die only the long and neck giraffe survive and this giraffes will produce a new population where you having all the long neck giraffe okay so that's the end that's how evolution works evolution always works by systematic manner by sequential manner step by step process selection of superior individual from a population and then allow them to reproduce now those uh, individuals which are getting selected they will be allowed to reproduce more and more to generate more offspring of that kind and then those offspring can place can they can can be stand they can stand there in the environment and then they will reproduce more and finally we can see those populations only those individuals on only in the population and all the previous kind are getting lost so remember it's again a challenge it's again a competition between different traits right so one of them will be survived another one of them will be uh, will be deleted okay so only superior quality will be selected in any form of evolution that's the basic truth of all so i've given you the example of giraffe's neck we are having also different examples like finches finches which are having beak the beak size and shape we can find different type of evolutionary concept so in each case the evolutionary concept we are dealing with these things okay in the next video we'll be talking about charles darwin's evolution postulates there are four different postulates of charles darwin first postulates is uh, that there is a population inside the population there must be variation which is most important darwin never told us that uh, in the population at the beginning there are no giraffe is there no long neck giraffe is there after uh, the time course wrong legs it have just come out no that is not the case i am emphasizing this point never think about this that this long legs it have where went there they just came after the process called evolution evolution never works this way evolution only works the selection of superior quality individuals now i i am in concluding this note i am concluding this particular video telling you a very small uh, quotation from one of the greatest evolutionary biologists of our time who is richard darwins and the quote was none of our ancestors died young none of them failed to copulate there are plenty of other individuals who died young and failed to copulate but they didn't become our ancestors we are carrying an unbroken line of inheritance of what it takes to do the things we do in different manner superior manner that's why fishes are so good at swimming birds are so get so good at flying foxes are so good at digging and we human being are so good at thinking that's in a sense is evolution if you just hear it more again and again you will find what evolution really is it's a remarkable quote okay so that's it in the future video we'll be talking about charles darwin's postulate about evolution taking a simple example of a deadly thing nowadays it is called Uh, the antibiotic resistance of bacteria okay thank you